Uh, hello everyone, thanks for joining our presentation. My name is Asil Koch and I am a PhD student at McGill University under the supervision of Professor Tolano. And today I will present our paper named as Hybrid Millimeter Wave uh, Massive MIMO Systems with Low CSI Overhead and Few Bit uh, Ducts and ADCs. Here is the brief outline of the presentation given in here. Firstly, uh, the motivation for the hybrid uh, precoding and combining is explained in the introduction part. Afterwards, the system and the channel model are described. And then the, the proposed angular-based hybrid precoding technique is presented where we explain how to design both the RF and base mass stages. Finally, the illustrative results are uh, represented for the achievable rate performance of the proposed hybrid scheme with the finite resolution ducts and ADCs. Then the presentation ends with the conclusions. In the wireless communication systems, the rapidly growing traffic rates and the user demands can be fulfilled uh, via the advanced transmission techniques. And MIMO is one of the uh, key enabling technologies. It has been already an integral part of the, the, the existing wireless standards such as 5G and Wi-Fi. And a decade ago, in, uh, there was a paradigm shift in the MIMO technology uh, by equipping excessively large antenna arrays at the base station, uh, the Massey MIMO can provide higher spectral efficiency and energy efficiency. Because as shown in, in this figure, uh, the large antenna arrays can focus the signal energy on the smaller regions. Uh, moreover, in the MIMO systems, precoding is an essential, a crucial signal processing technique for the downlink and uplink transmission to ensure the reliable transmission. And in the conventional MIMO, the single stage fully digital precoding and combining shown in here requires full CSI and uh, one power hunger RF chain per each antenna as shown in here. And therefore it, it has high power consumption and hard, uh, high hardware complexity. So it's not applicable in the in the massive MIMO systems considering the large antenna rate. Uh, different from the single stage uh, FTPC, uh, the two stage hybrid precoding and combining is a promising technique for the massive MIMO systems. And as shown in here, the, in the hybrid architecture, it consists of two stages as the RF, and the basement stage, and they are connected with the uh, with the RF chain. And in this work, we developed the the RF uh, stage based on the slow time varying channel char characteristic, namely the angle of departure and angle of arrival. And we aim to decrease the CSI overhead and the number of RF chains. And it, uh, the the proposed scheme can reduce the hardware cost complexity power consumption and the CSI overhead. And in the in the system model uh, of the proposed hybrid millimeter wave massive MIMO system shown in here, uh, both the transmitter and the receiver uh, side are equipped with uniform rectangular arrays. Uh, the uniform rectangular arrays, URAs, can fit the, uh, the large antenna arrays on two degrees, considering the area requirement in the practical applications. For the, for the proposed hybrid scheme, we need to develop four blocks as shown in here, BT, FT, FR, and uh, BR. These are placed at the, uh, at the basement and the uh, RF stages. And uh, in order to connect these basement and RF stages, we need to place NT RF chains at the transmitter and then NR RF chains at the receiver. Uh, here it is important to note that these, the, the number of RF chains are significantly smaller than the, the number of antennas as shown in here. And uh, moreover, the low resolution digital to analog and analog to digital converters are uh, utilized in the proposed hybrid scheme. Uh, according to the, the system model, uh, the precoded signal vector S at the transmitter is given as in here. Here, Q is the, uh, the non-uniform quantizer, quantizer function. And the kappa T is the distortion factor uh, at the BT bit uh, ducts. And uh, the table one summarizes the, the values for the di distortion factor for the uh, B bit ducts and ADCs, and while uh, where the, the B is smaller than or equal to five. And uh, then the, the received signal uh, at the receiver is given in equation two. After the, the combiner shown in here, the combined signal is represented in equation three, and it's composed of the, the desired signal plus the quantization noise and plus noise. Here, the, the curly H uh, matrix is the, the effective channel seen from the basement stage. And in the proposed hybrid precoding and combining scheme, we aim to uh, design these four blocks to maximize the achievable rate given in here. And the achievable rate should satisfy the, the transmit power constraints given in here and the, uh, the, unit mod uh, uh, the constant modulus constraint for the RFP informers. 
And uh, regarding the channel model, we employ the 3D geometry based millimeter wave channel model. And uh, according to the URA structure, uh, the channel matrix H is given in here and it composed of uh, C scattering clusters and uh, with PC paths with the, uh, for each cor corresponding clusters. Here we have uh, the first time varying uh, path gains as the GCP and the, uh, the slow time varying phase response uh, uh, vectors represented in here. They are function of the uh, angle of arrival and angle of departure parameters. Uh, moreover, in the 3D geometry-based channel model, uh, the azimuth and elevation AOA and AOD parameters are given in here. In conclusion, the, the channel has two parts in general. Um, the first part is the phase time varying CSI as the, the complete channel matrix H and the slow time varying CSI as the phase response matrices PR and the PT and these are the functions of the AOA and AOD. And uh, now we move to the, uh, the, the proposed angular-based hybrid precoding design and the system model is given in here. We aim to develop these four blocks, BT, FT, FR and BR and we aim to reduce the CSI overhead and the hardware cost and complexity by reducing the number of RF chains. And uh, during the hybrid pre-recording and combining design, the RF stage is developed via the, uh, only using the AOA and AOD parameters. And afterwards, the baseband stage are designed uh, via the reduced size effective channel uh, seen from the baseband. And uh, considering the effective channel seen from the baseband stage, uh, we aim to explore uh, all the degrees of freedom provided by the channel and to maximize the beamforming gain for the during the during the RF stage design. So it means the columns of the uh, the RF beamformer should be belong to the subspace spanned by the, the corresponding phase response matrices, as shown in here. Furthermore, the RF beamformers are developed via the low cost phase shifters, uh, which brings the constant modulus constraint. And for the RF stage design, we first need to define the AO, AOD and AO, AOA uh, supports as in given in equation cell. Uh, then afterwards, the first the, the transmit RF beamform is constructed uh, via the, the transmit steering vector given in equation eight. And uh, for the steering vectors, we define empty uh, orthogonal quantized angle pairs to cover the complete uh, azimuth and elevation AOD support. Then finally, the transmit RFP informers covering the corresponding AOD support is developed as in equation 10. And similarly, by following the same uh, strategy, we can obtain the receive RFP informers uh, covering the AOA, the corresponding AOA support as in equation 13. An example is uh, given in, in this uh, slide uh, for the orthogonal transmit and receive beam representation. Uh, we have three different uh, URA structures, 5 by 5 10 by 10 and 20 by 20 And uh, starting with the 5 by 5 low size uh, URA, we observe high side lobes, as you can see in here, uh, causing the power leakage to the undesired direction. But on the other hand, uh, when we move to the uh, 20 by 20 URA, the beam becomes narrower and the side lobes becomes very limited. And now uh, we need to, after developing the RF stage, we need to develop the, the baseband precoder and combiner. First, the optimal baseband uh, precoder is obtained by using the, uh, the right singular values of the effective channel uh, matrix, the curly H matrix given in here. And we use the dominant uh, signal, singular values. And uh, also we apply the, uh, the well-known water filling power allocation approach. And afterwards, for a given transmit and receive beam formats and on the obtained the, RF, uh, the, the baseband precoder, uh, we define the mean square as, in, as shown in here, and then we can obtain the, uh, the baseband combiner uh, satisfying the, the, the minimum mean square criterion as shown in here. This slide summarizes the proposed angular-based uh, hybrid precoding combining technique, and uh, this, it, this technique reduces the CSI overhead and the number of RF chains as shown in table two. For instance, uh, the proposed uh, technique can remarkably reduce the number of RF chains as shown in here. Uh, the number of RF chains is decreased uh, compared to the, the single stage FTPC. The num number of RF chains is decreased from MT plus MR to NT plus NR. Here, it is important to note that NT 
uh, and NR are significantly smaller than MT and MR. Uh, moreover, uh, the low resolution DOCs and ADCs are modeled. Uh, now, uh, for the illustrative results, uh, we compare the accrual rate performance of the proposed uh, ABHPC with the uh, FTPC, the single stage, the conventional uh, single stage FTPC. And we also investigate the effect of the, uh, the low resolution DOCs and ADCs on the achieval, perform achieval rate performance. And during the, the simulations, we assume both the transmitter and receiver are equipped with the square URAs. Uh, in other words, they have the same number of uh, antennas along X and Y axis as represented in here. And the additional parameters for the simulation setup are given in, the, in table three. Uh, the first illustrated results uh, consider the utilization of the full resolution uh, DOCs and ADCs for both FDPC and the proposed ABHPC. Here we plot the performance of the two messy MIMO uh, systems uh, as uh, 64 times 64 by uh, 16 uh, messy MIMO on the left hand side, uh, supporting either one, two, three, or four data streams. Also, uh, we have 256 uh, by uh, 64. Messi MIMO systems uh, supporting uh, two, four, six, or eight data streams. Uh, firstly, for the 64 by 16 Messi MIMO system, uh, the number of RF chains is decreased from 80 to 16, which means 80% reduction in the uh, for the number of RF chains. Uh, moreover, the CSI overhead size is decreased by 94%, while the performance gap between the FTPC and the uh, proposed hybrid scheme is uh, between 1.2 dB and uh, 1.8 dB. And also uh, the CSI overhead is further decreased uh, for the uh, 256 by 64 Messi MIMO systems, and the CSI overhead is decreased by 98% for that uh, scheme. Um, and now we investigate the effect of the low resolution DACs and ADCs on the achieval rate performance for the uh, 64 by 16 Massey MIMO system. And uh, here, we sub here we assume that the system is supporting uh, four data streams. And on the le left-hand side, the performance is plotted versus SNR and then uh, uh, for one bit, two bit, three bit, four bit, and infinity bit uh, converters, where the performance is, uh, you can see that the performance for few bit converters are saturated due to the, the quantization noise described earlier. And we also analyze the, uh, the, the minimum number of bits required, to, uh, required for the DOCs and ADCs for different SNR values when SNR equals to 0 dB, 10 dB, and 20 dB. And uh, uh, for instance, when SNR equals to 0 dB, uh, the uh, five bit converters are enough to reach to the performance of the full resolution infinity bit resolution converters. Uh, however, uh, we require uh, we require nine bit converters when SNR equals to SNR uh, reach to 20 dB. Uh, the, finally, the achieval rate performance is plotted versus the uh, the BT bit tax and the BT bit tax and BR bit ADCs uh, for SNR equals to zero dB and SNR equals to 20 dB. And as seen from the results, the achieval rate performance is approximately limited by the minimum number of either BT or BR for both cases. Uh, however, the utilization of the high resolution converters is slightly more preferable at the receiver side. This is due to the, the fact that the quantization noise occurred at the transmitter ducts actually further enhanced uh, at, the, at the receiver ADC. And uh, in conclusion, uh, a new angular-based hybrid pre-coding and combining uh, scheme is proposed for the hybrid millimeter wave, uh, millimeter wave Messi MIMO system. And uh, we reduced the, the CSI overhead size and the, uh, we also in, uh, include the field bit stacks and ADCs by using the additive quantization noise uh, model. Uh, the RF stage have been developed by using only the AOA and AOD parameters defined in the geometry based millimeter wave channel model and the baseband uh, stage have been developed using the reduced size effective uh, channel. And it is shown that uh, the proposed angular-based hybrid precoding technique can significantly reduce the, the hardware cost complexity and the CSA overhead size while providing a comparable achieval rate performance of, of the uh, fully digital uh, precoding and combining technique. And here are the references. And this is the end of uh, my presentation. Thank you for joining the presentation.